hope everybody's having a good day and this is July 16th, 2018. Yes, yeah, pretty big day. And I'm going to just read what I dreamed last night. And this dream, you know, got my attention, but here it is. I dreamed that, you know, I was, you know, around my local area and that, you know, there was going to be a church service and we were on a street, you know, we had turned on a street called Porter Street and, you know, we were headed east, you know, on that street, you know, was the setting, you know, of how this starts out. So I wrote this, I dreamed that I was like at Jones Mill Road and it was afternoon and, you know, these women, you know, were just aggravate or aggravating and they had come over and, you know, that doesn't have anything to do with my real life, but it, it is in this dream. So these aggravating women had come over and, you know, we were going, going to be going to church. And so the dream changed and I was in a car and I was in the back seat. You know, the back seat represents, you know, the past. And... Well, then one of the women said, and you're going to take me home, you know, like, oh, not again. You know, this thing ain't bothering me again. You know, no, not again. You know, was how I felt. And it was like, I don't have to put up with that aggravation, you know. And so then I turned, I looked at her and I said, just call a taxi. Well, as we headed east on Porter Street, we arrived at the stop sign of Jones Mill Road. And, and we, you know, started going past that. Well, the next block, I would say probably 100 feet from there, maybe 150 feet, <clears throat> is Summit Street. And, you know, we went on past Summit Street. And we were heading toward, you know, a street, you know, in my area that's called Tennessee Street. You know, Porter Street comes out on Tennessee Street. And then I said no to this. Then, or it was I said no, this woman is not going to run me around all night. You know, a, a church, you know, is represented by a woman. So we arrived at this church and it was starting to get dark and it was a charismatic. And we went to some room and you know it got dark outside and there were like 30 people in this room <clears throat> and everyone was talking and you know just real happy you know everybody was just like in the spirit of ecstasy, just feeling good, you know, out of this world, you know, just falling down and rolling around and and shouting and stuff. And everyone was talking, you know, and feeling the Holy Spirit, they thought. And, you know, also everyone started speaking, you know, in crazy languages I couldn't understand yelling and praying in these tongues and I was the only one who didn't feel anything and then the pastor you know of that church whoever that was leaned over a chair you know he was on his knee on his knees and he put the elbows down on the chair praying in this language and but all of a sudden, he changed over to English, you know, like jerking around and thrashing around in this spirit they thought was the Holy Spirit. And then the pastor yelled when he prayed, and they were birds, and there were many early birds, and there are birds, you know, just like that. And he was like, birds. And, you know, he kept jumping around and 
Then he was praying in tongues again and couldn't understand it. Well, then as I watched everyone falling down, you know, all over everywhere, speaking in these crazy languages, jerking, and having this spiritual experience that they liked, I felt nothing, you know, like I said. And then I just all of a sudden said this. It was weird. And then I said, I always said and knew that was Kundalini. And then I like paused. Nobody looked at me or anything. I just like said that in my heart. And then I said, I don't want Kundalini. And then I saw something with Miller Light, you know, in the front of the room, and it was talking about Miller Light beer. You know, I looked up and saw that logo, you know, in the front of this church, and it was especially focused in on the word L-I-T-E. And, you know, a mill is where you make something, and you know if a diet doesn't run a full course or something like that, it's also called light, L-I-T-E. And you know, the sad thing about the American church was it's died on the word, it'd been very light. And so then a woman said, yeah, they come in here and the spirit comes out from that room in the back. And, you know, I looked and there was like a door, you know, on the back wall. The wall was a dark color. I think it was black. And they were saying, yeah, the spirit comes out from the room back there. And, and then she said, well, when they're done, the spirit goes back into the to the room, and then I felt in my heart, oh, uh-huh, demon spirits. So as I sat in this church room where like approximately 30 people, you know, were in this room, you know, were overcome with, with what they said was the Holy Spirit, I said all along, you know, it was Kundalini in this dream, and I would miss out. And the church lasted, I think, around 40 minutes, I guess it was. And, and you know that one guy saying, and there were birds, and early birds. At the, and at the end, everyone was getting ready to leave, and it was completely dark out. Well, I woke up, and instantly when I woke up, I heard this song in my spirit. It was the song by Norman Greenbaum called Spirit in the Sky. And then I heard, I'm going to go see the Spirit in the Sky. And that was the end of the dream. The second dream, you know, I got up, wrote the first dream down. Then I went back to bed and then I dozed back off and dreamed this little short thing. And I dreamed after dozing back off this dream, and it said this, and it was about Vladimir Putin, and a voice said, and Vladimir Putin was the church pastor that deceived them all. And then I saw a bunch of these shapes before my face, and I woke up. Here's what they look like those four things, that shape. Those were the two dreams that I had, and here's something else, you know, that was weird too. And I just wrote this down, and I'll just read this. This was, you know, some excerpts from some past dreams and things, you know, I saw and one dream about Barack Obama and things like that, so I'll just read it. In 2013, on 9 13 13, A 19, or it's A 319, Finnair Flight 666 takes off from 
I think it's like Copenhagen or somewhere in the Netherlands. And it flies to Helsinki, and the airport identifier was H-E-L, Helsinki. Well, Trump went to Singapore on 6-12-18, and that airport, the big one in Singapore is identified as S-I-N, SIN. And you know, with the summit, with Kim now going to hell, H-E-L, or Helsinki for the Putin summit. Well, in 2015, I dreamed two dreams. I was at yesteryear flea market, and in this one dream, I saw Barack Obama and Michelle Obama sitting at a desk in the middle of the aisle, you know, it was the, the lowest shed, you know, a booth where they sell stuff. And so I was in the lowest shed and they were sitting out in the middle of the aisle and Obama just pulled out some paper and wrote, I think, 906 on it for <clears throat> a number. And another dream, I was at a restaurant and it was getting close to closing time. I asked the manager what time it was, and the manager said, well, there are three clocks in the back. Two don't work, and the third one says it's 9.06 p.m. In 2016, a person in Oklahoma, we went to watch fireworks for the 4th of July, and... So I, so I was just for, you know, telling them the dream. And after the fireworks, I just happened to look down at the clock in real life. And it said 9.06 p.m. I also got the time and the number 9.03 a whole lot, too. And on September 3rd, 2016, I was in a 5.8 earthquake out there. You know, in Oklahoma on 9.03. And you know, it's 9.03 now, but September actually means seven. And you know, it was really the seventh month that used to be 7.03. You know, is what it would have been on the old calendar. So back to the current time of July 15th, 2018, I happened to be watching the news and watch Trump arrive in Helsinki and they rolled the stairs up to Air Force One. And the time stamp said 9.05 p.m. And Trump opened the hatch, or one of them did. Well, I know Trump just stepped out on the top of the stairs, you know, with the airplane, and started walking down the stairs and onto the tarmac, and the time stamp up there said exactly 9.06 p.m. And this was time stamp. And you know, that was excerpts from some dreams and some other things I saw. And the other two things were two dreams last night. I hope everybody has a blessed day and I hope we go see the spirit in the sky, the good one, you know, that saves us all. And, and we don't have to feel bad anymore and stuff like that. And... It said, gotta have a friend in Jesus, you know, in that song, Spirit in the Sky. You know, I heard immediately in my spirit after I woke up, you know, from that bad dream. Hope everybody has a blessed day. Today is the day of the summit, you know, in real life with Trump and Vladimir Putin. And, you know, just remember, sadly, hell is down the waves do come upon Babylon. Babylon sinks. And, you know, Babylon sinking.
that's written in the Bible. I, I think it's Jeremiah 50 or 51. I'm not good at remembering the numbers, but I do know it's written that Babylon sinks. And, you know, this religious song, you know, religious, you know, thing that, you know, doesn't have Jesus, it goes the wrong way. Everybody have a good day and put your hope in going to go see the spirit in the sky like, you know, I heard when I woke up. Have a good one.